Hello family, I hope you are all thriving in good spirits. Today we get to continue to grow in our church values. We get to talk about being beautifully authentic. But before we start, why don't we take a look at what it means to be beautifully authentic? Let's see what the dictionary says. The word beautifully authentic means in a way that pleases the senses or mind, aesthetically. Authentic means of undisputed origin, genuine, made or done in the traditional or original way, or in a way that faithfully resembles an original, based on fact, accurate or reliable. Did you know that God made us beautifully authentic and he wants us to live beautifully authentic? How do I know that? In John 4, 24, he says, God is a spirit and they that worship him, worship him in spirit and in truth. So for us to be able to fellowship with God, we need to be authentic. That is to be in truth. The good news is that, you know, God already made us beautifully authentic so we, we can fellowship with him because he desires to fellowship with us. In Genesis 2.25, he says, And the man and his wife were both naked and were unashamed. So Adam and Eve were open, exposed, raw, transparent, vulnerable, and they were unashamed. Why? Because they were made in the image of and glory of God. They were beautifully authentic like God. Unfortunately, sometimes we forget we are beautifully authentic, so we try to hide. Sometimes we do not walk up beautifully authentic because we forget we were created beautifully authentic. We live like a facet. We try to live a life contrary to who we are, a life outside of God the original image of us. But God wants us to walk beautifully authentic, not just with him, but among ourselves. So he says in James 5, 15, therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed and restored. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Hmm. Confess my sins to others? I don't want anyone to know my weaknesses. I don't want to be judged. But wait, he said I will be restored and healed. We are restored and healed when we walk beautifully authentic, naked and unashamed. We are restored and healed when we delight in truth. We are restored and healed when we walk in integrity. We are restored and healed when we do not try to hide ourselves from others or from ourselves because we want to look perfect. We are restored and healed when we walk in the light. Let's take a look at everything we have talked about in the revelations of a great king who walked beautifully authentic. That's the King David. Read Psalm 139 and share with each other the beautiful authenticity you see in this scripture. Okay, now that we have studied together, let's discuss among ourselves these five questions. Can you think of and name one person who is beautifully authentic? How can we be beautifully authentic? When should we be beautifully authentic? Who should we be beautifully authentic to? Where should we be beautifully authentic? We can only be beautifully authentic by knowing God and imitating Christ. The knowledge of God births the knowledge of ourselves. When we know with confidence that we accept it in the beloved, we accept ourselves and others without shame or reproach. We embrace our current circumstances with hope of redemption, knowing that they are only temporary. 
We allow ourselves to experience us in truth because we know what is now is not our eternal reality. It is then that we are beautifully authentic with God, with ourselves and with others. The next time you think of one person who is beautifully authentic, I hope you can choose you. Matthew 5, 14 to 16 says, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today. We thank you for your word that has come to us, that we can be beautifully authentic because you made us to be beautifully authentic. We thank you for the grace to walk beautifully authentic, that we can be true to you, we can be true to ourselves, we can be true to others. We thank you that you're reminding us, and if there are any parts of us that we are struggling to accept, dear Lord, we ask you to help us to see, reveal ourselves to us by your Holy Spirit, that we can embrace ourselves according to how you made us. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.